In this quick lesson, I'll show you how to calculate the time it takes for a signal from Mars to reach Earth. The question reads, at its closest approach to Earth, Mars is 57.50 million kilometers away. How long in minutes would a radio signal sent from a future manned mission to Mars take to travel to Earth? To answer this question effectively, you need to understand that radio waves are a form of electromagnetic radiation. And in a vacuum, such as that of space, these waves travel at the speed of light. So to do this problem, we need to know the speed of light, because there's a relationship between speed, distance, and time. That is, speed is equal to the distance divided by the time. The distance has been given to us already, at 57.50 million kilometers away. And the speed of light is a known constant. I'll represent it by the letter S. It happens to be 3.0 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. What we are looking for is the time. So what I'll do now is substitute this value in for s, and at the same time, I'll convert 57.50 million kilometers into meters so that it matches the units here. Notice that here the units are in meters per second, whereas our value, the distance, is in kilometers. So let's go ahead and convert this number. We have 57.50, and this is million kilometers. So we'll multiply this by 1 million. 57.50 times 1 million is the value in kilometers. And I'll convert this value into meters. The conversion factor to go from kilometers to meters is that for every 1,000 meters, you get 1 kilometer. Multiplying these two out, this value and that fraction, the kilometers unit will cancel out. And let's go ahead and use our calculator moving forward. We have 57.50 times 1 million, that's six zeros, times another 1,000. So from Mars to Earth is 5.7 times 10 to the power of 10 meters away. I hope that gives you perspective as to why a manned mission to Mars is so difficult. All right, now we will substitute everything we know into our formula that's in green. We have this value as S, our distance is 5.7 times 10 to the power of 10 meters. And the time is what's unknown, and it's at the bottom. So we do have to apply a little bit of algebra to isolate for t. And this involves multiplying both sides by t. That will cancel the right side, the t's on the right side. And we'll have a factor of t on the left side. So right now we have t times this number is equal to that number. Let me erase these t's. Finally, if we want to isolate for t, we will divide both sides by that factor. Okay, I'll show that. Now that I've written it all down, dividing these two out will give us the time in seconds. Remember, we want it in minutes. So using our calculator once more, the value on our screen divided by 3.0, and make sure that it's in parentheses, times 10 to the power of 8, we end up with 191.6 repeating seconds. 191.6 repeating seconds. That's the value of t. The conversion factor for seconds to minutes is that for every 60 seconds, you have one minute. Everyone knows that. So multiplying these out, the units cancel. The value on our screen divided by 60 gives us roughly 3.19 minutes. And that's the theoretical amount of time that it would take a radio signal sent from Mars to reach Earth. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you have any homework questions, use our website at biology-forms.com.